Hi Rosie friends, it's Julie. So today I'm just doing a quick makeup video uh, to cover the rosacea redness on my face. This is the first time that I am putting makeup on in 2021 because there has not really been any reason for me to do that. I'm wearing makeup far less. I'm obviously, I'm rarely ever covering my rosacea, but I have an event, an online event that I'm doing because I'm a book author and this one's in September and I had an interview that I needed to do for it. And so I wanted to make sure that while I was on screen, I looked okay because as you can see, my rosacea really glows next to my window there, which is where I do all my videos. So I started off by uh, using some hydrating drops. I use, and then most of the rest of it is just focusing on removing under eye circles. So I've got the Java cream from Novo Na Noble Naturals that takes the swelling down because I've got a lot of allergies right now too. Seasonal allergies, I mean, and then the under eye corrector from Essence. And I really, I'm so proud of myself for not having worn any makeup this year. It has made my skin so much healthier. Uh, that would be the only powder that I'm going to be using because it is just an on-screen thing and I will only be interviewed for about half an hour. So I only need to look not glowing red for so long. And I'm not really looking to get rid of all the redness. I'm just looking to dull it down a bit because, as I said, the, the natural light from the window next to me that's on my right, your left, really makes that redness glow on screen. It is not that red in real life, so I'm just taking it down a notch with a little bit of translucent powder. So yeah, so I mean, I don't have any um, judgment or anything negative to say about anybody who covers their rosacea. I cover my rosacea, as you can see, for uh, important things. It's just I work from home most of the time, so I have the luxury of not having to do any, be concerned about how my face looks. So um, when I do go out, I'm just really not as worried about the rosacea anymore. I'm just used to it as being a part of my face. And pretty much immediately after this video, I used a microfiber towel to take all of this off again because it really does keep my skin so much healthier without putting all that stuff on it. Uh, this is just a regular eyeliner with a regular eyeliner technique because I have glasses and so using eyeliner and then mascara just helps my eyes to stand out a little bit when I'm on camera. So that's why I do that. Ma um, eyeliner is about the only makeup that I've actually been wearing this year at all. Um, this is the first time I've done any kind of full face, if you even want to call it that, for this video, but the eyeliner is the only thing. If I want to look fancy, I put a little bit of eyeliner on and that's it. It's just because it helps it to look a little bit, my eyes to, to pop a little bit because I wear glasses. But yeah, so my skin, I have found, oh, and just an e.l.f. mascara because I needed something really cheap because I knew that I probably won't be using it again within the next month or so, so the odds are I'm going to be throwing that out which just is awful but after one or two applications because you have to throw your mascara out after a while or it gets all filled up with gross bacteria but yeah so but uh speaking of bacteria and stuff like that though but keeping the makeup off my rosacea has made it so much more balanced it has really been if just focusing on good skincare and that's it has made my skin way way healthier i haven't even been using the light therapy that much at all i've probably I used it earlier in the year, but I haven't used it probably since the summer started. And that's really saying something because it just hasn't needed it. It has, has not really been flaring up. It gets, when it's warm, it gets a little bit red and then it fades back out again. So I'm not going to complain about that feeling very, very lucky this year in terms of skin health. So yeah, so that's the whole thing. I forgot to wave at the end of this video like I normally do, but I do hope you like this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, I hope you'll subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon. But other than that, I will see you next time.